are, are you now in the spirit of potentially even being able to rekindle a relationship like oh my gosh so i i would i would say that if 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 we were both willing to fight and we were both willing to do certain things and yes so she wants tyrese back even though he's out there on the internet shaving pum pum on instagram live and he's all running up and down with this young little thing so this is him on Instagram Live. Okay. I'm sorry. This is this is too Look, much. Do you see the two feet up in this the air? This is we're gonna I'll rewind it for you. Cause here he's giving his damn instructions. I'ma put on the crema. Mix it with some oil. I just he just <laughs> Oh this is my the lord, let's go again. With? I'm sorry. I'm not gonna talk this time. I'm gonna be crema quiet. On first. I'll mix it with some oil. I can't do it no more. And this is who this grown woman wants to get back in her life because this is her child's father. He knew that he was somebody's father, actually multiple young ladies' fathers while he was up here on the damn internet with some woman with two feet agape as he's using some razor. Why would I recommend dating somebody famous? No. <laughs> no, <laughs> I would not. I think I'm the, if my, here's my thing. I think a lot of women want a certain type of notoriety and being with a certain guy. Mm. That's not where your worth comes from. That's not where your validation comes from. Your validation comes from God and God alone. It doesn't matter who you're with. And I think that, I think we make, women make a lot of like athletes and entertainers and wanting to be with these certain kind of guys. And we've got into the high value men thing and everything like that. I'm not saying these guys are bad, but you have to also understand these guys are self, these guys are, are self-made men. There's a lot of men, a lot of women, excuse me, that want these men, right? So at the end of the day, these men are accustomed to getting their way. There's a lot more that want them. They're able to pick and choose and they're able to do whatever. And so as a woman, a lot of women go into a situation, you go into a situation saying, hey, I want this kind of guy. Not understanding that these guys have the pick of the litter. They ain't going to put up with everything. The boundary, you sometimes you're going to, they're going to expect you, you, you don't have to settle and compromise and work things out within yourself before they will feel like they need to do that too. Because mm. they're, they're who they are. You know, women value as women, we value security. We value, we value so being with a man that's able to provide and protect us point. and provide the security that we feel like men should. Absolutely. And the men that can do it on a higher level feel like, okay, I have way more options. So because I have way more options, the boundaries and the, the compromise, you have some men that are, that are higher earning or whatever, and they're, they're great at that. They, they have no issue with compromising and working with a woman and, 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 and making that situation work. I find that, you know, if a man's in the limelight, and there is very rare for, to find one that's like, I, you know, I'm going to work for this relationship. I, you know, mm. this is what I want. And, you know, I'm gung ho about being with one person and we going to make this thing ride out. Like, mm. because they are who they are and you're just one of maybe millions of women that want them, mm. they're going to be like, uh, yeah, I don't have to work for you. I don't mm. have to try to make this work. You've got to make this work. Mm. You've got to compromise. You've got to mm. you've got to reconcile within your mind about what this is, not me. Period. Mm. That's how that is. And when we talk about Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson married Sierra. Okay, he didn't marry no regular chick. He married Sierra. Okay, Sierra has had her own, was making her own. So he kind of came into a situation. He, you know, he's like, you know, he felt it's to a certain level, like I've got to work my way into her too. Like I've got to put some work in for her. He does seem like a dude, a good dude, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, you know, it's not like a typical female mm. off the street. You know, I'm not saying female? that he wouldn't or would. I don't know him to say that, but I'm just saying that, like. Yeah, that was a balanced situation where they, you know, like that was balanced. Whereas you talking about a normal dude, like that, like, let's say a woman's trying to get at like what? Well, I don't know. Chris Brown. That's a or man Ty who has Reese. a lot of women after him. So he's not going to like, like, 
like, <laughs> you know, he's not looking at like, like, oh, I'm gonna work for her and I'm gonna do everything I can to make this thing work and blah, 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 blah. Like, that's not what you feel like a goddess. Like you might, you might get that from him, but yet you, you vying after the dude that everybody wants because everybody wants him. And that's just, that's not a good reason to go after any dude, period. A few moments later, this is her, just a few moments later. Not that time. Okay. Oh, I've never said this publicly. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is what we do. This is, this is the Harley exclusive, baby. <laughs> the truth about the matter is that if I had different people in my ear at that time, I would not have made that decision. No. And that's the truth. I was very, very hurt. I was very angry. And I remember when I made the decision, I was like hysterically crying mm. on the phone with my attorney. I was extremely emotionally intoxicated. Mm. I'm an extremely emotional person, but I know women specifically, there will be moments where they'll be like, I'm ready to be done. I can't stand this. He don't do this. And we're just focusing on these things. And because you don't have a certain person in your life to check you and say, sis, what about this? What about these strengths? What about what he's not doing? That can get you thinking about the positive aspects of this person that you may not be thinking about when you're upset. And so in those moments, you need somebody for that Oh, person. my, 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 yeah. my, my. So she says she wouldn't have gotten a divorce if she didn't have certain people in her ear. Well, now she's talking about how that's her child's father and it's in the la, da, 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 la, la, la. And so, yeah, so now she's talking all of this stuff about how she would have gotten back, gone back and all this other stuff. All right, fine. And those friends who were telling her all this stuff about him, how many of you think that they went for a ride or tried to go for a ride? Girl, listen, I don't know what to say about this. She says she wouldn't, wouldn't want to date a celebrity again because why? Because she says that the celebrity is wanted by millions and so he's not going to want to put up with you. He's not going to want to work it out. You're going to have to be the one to make the concessions. But now all of a sudden... How do you go from, from that to this? How? Come on. Somebody says she just missed the lifestyle. I can imagine so. I can imagine so. Be a part of the live show with thousands of other viewers. Go to tanyatko.com forward slash text and join the text notification squad and get a text whenever I go live. Support the show and yourself, and I'll see you on the next live broadcast.